Vav Amin Aleph. We'll begin Lamed Hay with Bays, five lines from the bottom of the two dots. Gufa Amar Yud Amar Shmu Chen Amar Yitzchak Amar Yech Shem and Zayis Mevorchem Lavoy Preya Eitz. On olive oil, they say the bracha is Vare Preha Eitz. Hey Chidomi, what are the circumstances? He lame the kashal sile. If he's just drinking the olive oil, he's drinking it without any mixture of the olive oil, pure olive oil. Azuki Maskele. It's harmful for him. Why should he make a bracha? You make a bracha and something that you get benefit from. I know. Something that you're eating and drinking, getting benefit before you eat or drink, you make a bracha. That's something that's harmful. How do, where do we see that olive oil is harmful? If a person eats or drinks or gets the benefit from truma, he's a non kayan he has to pay the principal amount and add on a fifth. So if a person takes the olive oil and he anoints himself with it, he rubs it on his skin, he gets benefit, he pays the karen the chaymish. But if he drinks it, then he's not getting benefit. It's harmful for him, as we said before. And therefore, he does not pay the fifth. So why does he pay the principal amount? So most for shame, that's midarabana. But he is really not obligated because he's not considered getting hana. So you see, he doesn't pay the chaymish. It's not considered hana. So why should he make a broth boy for eight? So Apparently, that cannot be the situation that we're discussing where he makes a bracha. Ella the Gemara suggests the Ka'achalali they pass. Perhaps it's talking where he dipped bread in olive oil, and that's how he's eating the olive oil. In that case, it's not harmful. Frank the Gemara, how could that be? If that's the case, the bread is the primary food, and he should not make a bracha on the oil, he would make a bracha on the bread. If you have a primary and a secondary, so he has a bread and he has a spread on the bread, you make a brach on the bread, not on what you're spreading it with. Here also, why would you make a brach on the oil and make a brach on the pass? So that can't be the situation. <clears throat> Perhaps the case is we're talking where he drinks it, the, wine, the, the olive oil is mixed in a mixture, in a mixture of other type of juices. The the Omar of Bar Shmuel, what is a nigran and is it a nigran may the silk? A nigran is like a beet juice, like a beet soup. And he mixes the oil, the olive oil, into this mixture. And perhaps that's the case that we're talking about where he makes a boy parade. And sigran is Maya the Kulashalki. And that sigran is a mixture of all kinds of boiled vegetables. So if that's a case, frankly, more if that's the case, you can have the nigger nigger Hashem and Tafel. No, even if that's the case, and he mixes it into this beet soup, still the nigger would be eker and Hashem and Tafel. It's not say al klal kol shuviker be much tefela mivarach al eker. But there is a tefela. Still, he would not make the bracha on the olive oil in this case because it's a Tafel. It's secondary. So what is the case that we're talking about where you would make a boy and pray it's on olive oil? We're talking where he has a sore throat. If a person has a sore throat, he should not put oil, he should not uh, soothe it with oil on Shabbos. On Shabbos, he's not allowed to have anything which is a refuah, a remedy, because it's a zera, the rabbana, and also for some rabbana, he might come to grind herbs. So he can't take a medicine. So But what he could do is he could mix it with a lot a large quantity of oil with the sanigran. So he has an unusual amount of the oil over here. So it has the effect of soothing his throat. But since he is not doing it something, he is swallowing it. So therefore, it doesn't have the appearance of a refua of a medicine, and therefore it would be mutran shabbos. So perhaps what we're talking about in the case over here is is that he has this mixture, but there is an unusual large quantity of the olive oil. The olive oil is the iker, and the beet juice is the tafel, and that's why he would make the bracha on the olive oil. So on shabbos, he can take it in this manner where he now is 
uh, mixing it with the juice, a larger quantity of, than normal, a very large quantity of olive oil. He's allowed to have it on Shabbos, and the way is in the, in the uh, Rishonim, in which manner is it mutter? Is it mutter only if he swallows it, or if even if he spits it out, he gargles and spits it out, since it's in uh, this mixture and it's not uh, on its own. So that's the Machlech's Rishonim, does he have to swallow it, or can he even spit it out, since he's not drinking it uh, straight, he's drinking it in a dilution. So that's the Machlechus in, uh, in the Rishonim over here, how he, how he does it. So, but in any event, so perhaps that's the case we're talking about in the Bracha. So Mor says, well, that's the case, Pshita. Well, if that's the case, it's possible. In this case, the olive oil is the Iker. So, of course, that's how he would make the bracha on the olive oil. Pshita. And Mor says, no, man, the same became the Lord of the Lord of the Lord You might think, though, you, even though the, the larger quantity is the olive oil, but you might think that since his intention really over here is not for the drink, not for the food, it's for medicine, you might think you don't make any broth on it because really his intention is only to soothe his throat, not really to drink the oil. Ashmalan came to Islam, nomine by no, teaches us that nevertheless, even though this is his intention, it's for refuah, if it's a refuah that you get benefit from it, it tastes good, you get a benefit from, you do make a broth on it, and this is Lamais that we hold, and as Tysus points out, that Therefore, if there are medicines that you're getting, and besides the medicinal uh, benefits, if there's some hano that you get from this, when you do make a profit. Kim chadachit, if you have flour, wheat flour. Rabbi Yehuda, Amar Boyim Priyadom, he says, the bracha is Bari Priyadom, and Rabbi Nach, Namre Shahako, Nibid Bari. And he says, the bracha is Shahako. So Rashi seems to be learning that this is straight flour, wheat flour. Uh, Taisa says that no, it's we're talking about not regular wheat flour. We're talking about where it's toasted and something matter of that because is uh, you would not make a brocha on wheat flour, much wheat flour because people would not you would make an adam on that because people don't plant it for that purpose to eat it in the flour state. So in any event, uh, you have this a uh, flower from the weeds. That's a machlekes. It was bori priyadama or shak. I'm believer of the Rav Nachman. Like people like the Rav Yehuda don't argue in Rav Yehuda. He seems to be correct that it's an adama because Rav Yehuda and Shmuel kind of come all same because we see that they also hold that way. Where do we see that? Tom Rav Yehuda Amar Shmuel Lochenam with Yitzchak Rav Yehuda Shem and Zayis Mivar from Lo Bori Priyades. Like we just learned that on olive oil you make Bori Priyades. Alma Rav Nishtan and Ben Yosekha. So you see, even though it's been changed, it's been processed, you took the olive, you process it into oil, the bracha remains the same. Here also, even though it's been processed, you took the grain of wheat. If you if you ate the, the grain, you would make an adam. Now, even though it's been processed into flour, it should be the same thing. It's olive oil, the bracha should remain the same. So in this case, should you make an adam? So Mor says, no, what's the comparison? Me dumb, awesome, Leslie Over there, there is no higher form of it. Yes, it's true that when you process the olive into olive oil, the brocha remains the same, but that's the final stage of process. So there's no higher level, no higher state in the processing. But over here, this is an intermediary stage. It's transferred, it's going from the grain stage to the flour, ultimately to bread. So perhaps now where it's in an intermediary stage, you would not make the bracha of a dom. So what, just because it has a final further stage of processing, you don't make an adam, is that so? El shahakol, you only make a shahakol? Va'amur of Zerah, Amur of Masa, Amur Shmuel, Akorachaya on a raw pumpkin, the kimcha desori, on flour made from barley, on flour made from barley, mevarchen alesh hakol niyabitvor. So on that you make a shahakol. So my love, does that not infer that the chiti boy pe adama that on chitim you would make an adama? 
Or says, look, no. Not necessarily. Maybe, perhaps, on wheat flour, you would also make a shahakal. Back to tomorrow, well, if that's so, Alishmina the Chidim holds Kendasor. Well, if that's the case, tell me the bigger Chidish that on wheat flour you only make a shahakal, even though it's more edible and it's more likely to be eaten than barley flour. Tell me the bigger Chidish that even on wheat flour you make a shahakal. Look, Kolshkin is certainly on, on barley, on sari, on barley flour. Mar says, no. Iashmina the Chiti, if it only told me on wheat flour, Havamina, Haramina the Chiti, I would think. That you, that you make a bracha at all is only, that's only on when it's from wheat. And well, the sorry, Lord, the Rechel Kalam. But I would say perhaps that on barley flour you don't make any bracha. So that's why it tells me on barley flour that you make a shakal. Not to infer that on wheat flour you don't make a shakal, you make an adama. But tell me the Kiddush that even on, sorry, on barley flour you do make a bracha. Right, Tengara, what do you mean? Why would I think that on barley flour you don't make any bracha? Omi garmi melech zomis, is it any worse than salt and brine? That's not all melech al zomis, I'm a shahakal name before. And even on that you make a shahakal. Why would I think that on flour from barley you wouldn't make any bracha? The Lord says, no, it has to teach me that. It's because al kadai de chamina melech al zomis, avid inch de shadal of puma. Sometimes he puts in his mouth, he wants a sharp taste in his mouth. Avil kim for the sorry, but on flour from barley, since we catch the Kulani, it's bad for his intestine, intestinal worms. Loy liver kalal, something that person would need, it's harmful. You don't, perhaps, don't make any brocha. So that's why he has to teach me that you do make a brocha, because Saif Kal Saif, he is getting Hanoa benefit from it, and you do make a brocha. So you cannot infer from here that it's only barley flour that you make a shahak, but wheat flour is a doma. Perhaps wheat flour is also a shahak. It's just telling me the finish by barley flour that I don't think you don't make any bracha, even on barley flour, we make a shahak. So we cannot prove anything from here, legabe, whether on wheat flour do we make an adama or a shahak. Kairam. If you have from the, prom, uh, the palm tree, so Rashi learns that it's the soft part of the palm, uh, the palm uh, branches before they harden. And it's the initial stage, it's soft. Uh, other Rishayim learn it's hard of palm. So what in bracha do you make on this? Rabbi Yudah, Mer Bari Pei Adam, he says, Amadam, Shumar, Shahakal, Mi, Yavit, Bracha. Rabbi Yudah, Mer Bari Pei Adam, why do you make an Adam? Peru, because it's considered a fruit. O Shumar, Shahakal, Mi, Yavit, Bracha, Elohim, Saif, Elohim, Hakshis, because it's not planted for this stage, even though it's soft now, ultimately it hardens. So it's not considered a fruit. It normally, it will in the initial stage is soft and it hardens and it's not edible. So you only make a shahakal temporarily. Right now you get benefit, but it's not considered the fruit of the tree. Omrle Shmuel or Rabbi Huda Shmuel is praising Rabbi Huda. So Rabbi Huda said, Bori Priyadoma Shmuel, who said, Shahakal praise him, Shinnim, a sharp one. Kavosif Mistabra. It's likely to Mistabra to say the way you're saying it. The way you're saying that you make an adoma. Why? That's known by the caper, the caper bush. Soifel actually, even though the berries are going to harden, and you see you do make an adam. So therefore, let's prove from there to our case as well. No, you cannot prove it from the case over here. Shmuel is not praising of you. He said, Shin in the sharp on Kavos Mustaber. It's mistaken to say the way you're saying it that the bracha is adama, not shahak. That's known by radishes, so full of even though ultimately it's going to harden. And nevertheless, the bracha is adama, so here also it should be the same thing. But the word says, it's not so. You can't prove it from the case of radishes because it's not in the Shaddai to the Puma. Because on radishes, people do plant it. For this stage of the radish stage, when it's soft, they plant it to eat it when it's in this soft stage. Dikla not ancient like the para, but people don't plant the palm tree for the soft part of the palm leaf. They plant it for the dates, etc. But they don't plant it to eat. So even though temporarily now it's in a state where it can be eaten, but that's not the primary purpose of it. That's not what it's planted for. So it's not called the pre or eight. Or it's not called the pre-ha-doma. Because it's not called a pre. 
Frek the Gemara, Mechol Hecha, do lay not to him, she had died the Hachi, you mean to say, if that's not the reason people planted, lay a Rachin Alea, you don't make a Rocha, right? Slav, on the caper bush, do not to him, she had died to the Bircha, over there, where people plant the caper bush is for the fruit, it's for the primary fruit of the caper bush. Now, the caper bush, as we'll see, has different edible parts to it. So, the primary fruit is called the Pircha, and that's why it's planted. But nevertheless, Utanan, Almina Mitzvah, uh, the different types of the slav of the caper bush, it's also called Mitzvah. Almina Mitzvah, Ala Al in Valatamaras on the leaves and on the berries that are in the leaves. This is not, it's not to be confused with the fruit, it's not the primary fruit. They have the leaves and there's berries on these leaves. You make an Adama. And on the fruit and on the covering of the fruit. They, what's surrounding it, the protection of it, I by Priyais. That's the primary fruit to make AIDS. So you see that even though it's not the primary fruit, you do make an Adama. Now, a Slav, people do plant it for this reason, for other reasons also. They do plant it for the leaves and the berries. It's not the primary fruit, but it's planted for that as well. But Dikla is not the inshad to the car, but the car is not eaten on on tree. That's not why it's planted. If a per, it is edible, sometimes a person might eat it, but that's not the reason that he's planted. Now I've looked up the Kal Sashmul or Yehuda, even though Shmuel praises Rav Yehuda, he'll say the Shmuel, the halacha is like Shmuel. Nevertheless, the halacha is like Shmuel that it's shak on the other four. Um, Rav Yehuda Marav, so we're talking about the slav to caper bush. Um, Rav Yehuda Marav, slav shall orla, if you have the slav of orla. So we know that the orla, first three years of the fruit, uh, the new tree, a new uh, sapling, the fruit cannot be eaten. Now, this more this sugya, the way Rashi's learning it, this sugya is going, according to the Mount Omar, that the iser of orla is only in Eretz So It's a, one of the mitzvahs that are like in Eretz Yisrael and not in the Futsalar, it's in Midrabonon, it's in Chutzlars, but not Minatir. So, the Gemara says, Slav shall Orla be Chutzlars. If you have the Slav of Orla, of the new growth in Chutzlars, Zora gets at Yayas. You cannot eat the fruit because Midrabonon is still lost. However, Boyachal is a Kafrisa. But the, the protection of it, the, the covering of it, is not considered the fruit. And you could eat that, that's not included in the Yasser of Orla, even Midrabonon and Chutzlars. So the main run that you is pair the kafrisa la pair. You mean to say that what's considered the fruit is only the yanis and not the kafrisa? Or you mean I'll ask you a steer? I'll mean a nitzvah like we just learned. Allah all in valid tomorrow. I'm more by priya doma. Bala yanis ala kafrisa. I'm more by priya. So you see, you make a boy praise on the kafrisa as well. Remember the Gemara who doma to Rabbi Kiva. He's following the sheet of Rabbi Kiva. This not Rabbi Lazar. I'm there. Rabbi Lazar says not this will be my sir. Not like I've heard the talking on Machloi, because like I've been my sir. Slav, Nesase, Tamar, Tzavyen, Yitzvah, Kafris. He says you have to take mice from all of the various components, the edible components of the caper bush. It's from the berries, the avianus, and the Kafris, and the fruit, and the covering of the fruit. He says the only thing that's considered the fruit is the avianus. Only that's considered the fruit. May Shupri. Because only then is considered the fruit. So here we're going like the sheet of Rabbi Kiva, and that's why he has to, in Chutzlar, to the Orla, throw away the fruit, but he can keep, he throws away the Avianus, but he can eat the Kafris. Correctly, more than him, along Rabbi Kiva. Why don't you just simply say that Allah's like Rabbi Kiva? No, he says no. He Amar Halachik Rabbi Kiva. He just simply said the Halach for Rabbi Kiva Hava Mina Filo Baritz. I would have thought that that applies even in Eretz Yisrael because Rabbi Kiva himself holds that the only fruit is the Avyan, it's not the Kafris, and he would hold even in Eretz Yisrael that one can eat the Kafris. So Kamash Malan, that it's not like he paskins completely like Rabbi Kiva. He passes like Rabbi Kiva in so far as Orla and Chutzlaret. Kamash Malan call a mekel ba'aret. What can we say about If it's a kula machloek, if there's a mekel in Eretz Yisrael who's lenient in Eretz Yisrael, so in Chutzlaret, where the iser is the rabbana, it's not a deraisa. We can follow that opinion, but not in Eretz Yisrael 
we can't be leaning in Eretz Yisrael where the Yis is on the right side. Amar Eretz Loi. Frank the Gemara, well, why don't you simply say, Why don't you say, Why don't you say, the more answer is, I would have said, I would have said, perhaps that only applies about taking miser from fruit of the tree because of our group from Midrabana. Because in Eretz Yisrael, that is only Midrabana. That Minatayra, this Mandamra holds Minatayra, the field of miser Minatayra is only dog on Tereshri Yitzhak. It's only with the grains and, and the grapes and the olives. So this sugya would be going according to the man, the man Domer, and perhaps if he only said that the halacha is like Rabbi Kiva in Chutz Laaretz, I would think Hani Mil Gabi Ma'is Elon that where even in Eretz Yisrael the Evyoinus the Slav is a Darabon. I would Gabi Orla the Ma'aretz Mid but by Orla we're in Eretz Yisrael where it's a derisa, all the fruit of the trees, of the various trees is a derisa. Ema, I might say, I would be geyser on the slav, on the avionis of the slav, even in Chuzlar, Kamash Mokar. So it's Kamash Mokar is teaching me that even the Gabi Orla, which is in Eretz Yisrael, is a derisa. Nevertheless, in Chuzlar, which is a derabonon, we would be maker like the sheet of Rabbi Kiva, who holds that it's only the yainas which is considered the fruit. That has to be discarded, but the kafrisa can be eaten.